Yeah, Tatiana, things will be changing, but let's just be excited that we're seeing temperatures in the 60s for the beginning to middle of February. And we're getting a break from the snow, a break from the rain, a break from those icy conditions and just seeing those bright blue skies. I mean, isn't that view beautiful over downtown Toledo? Just nice. Uh, comfortable conditions here at 425. We're seeing temperatures in the 60s. It is February 8th, right? Like what? What's going on? This is amazing. Feeling more like the middle of February or middle of April 63 right now in Toledo Oak Harbor at 61 and Port Clinton seeing temperatures also around 61 degrees tonight will be a mild and pleasant evening with those temperatures in the low 50s and there is a chance for a few of us to see just a few spotty showers throughout this evening but also tracking some gusty winds coming out the southwest around 15 to even 20 miles an hour, but here's the kicker. Those southwesterly winds bringing in some of that warm moist air to help us warm up and certainly will be warming up tonight. We're in those 50s dipping back down again, upper 40s, low 50s, but then warming back up by tomorrow afternoon. We're in the 60s again. It's going to be a wonderful way to wrap up the work and school week. But like Tatiana said, of course, we will be seeing some changes on the way heading on into the weekend. We'll be seeing temperatures back in the 40s and the 50s going on into Saturday and also into Sunday. And this will seem mild compared to what we will be seeing going on into next week. And along with that change in temperature, there's also a change in sky cover and precipitation as there's a chance for some more spotty showers late tonight off and on to the day for the tomorrow and also into Saturday morning. Now, nothing strong or severe, thankfully, but just a little bit more of those rain showers. And of course, it has to be for the weekend. Here, something we're really excited about at WTOL 11, that countdown to the eclipse is on 60 days away. And I had a little favor to ask you, pull out your phones, scan this QR code. It goes straight to our website, WTOL11.com, and also showcases all our amazing eclipse coverage from anything from where you'll be seeing it on your location, who's in the totality, and just how long you could be seeing this solar eclipse. And we're gonna continue to push out amazing stories about the eclipse coming up in about the next Look at that 60 days. So again, that QR code, we're gonna be showing this throughout the next 60 days as well. So if you miss it today, don't worry, you're gonna have plenty of time. And of course, always go, always go to our website, WTOL11.com. And along with the eclipse stories, also amazing weather stories as well. And the weather today, not too bad, but the weather tomorrow also will be really nice. In fact, we'll be close to breaking our record high. Set back just last year, 62 is our forecasted high for tomorrow. 52 heading on into Saturday and there is a chance for some rain early Saturday morning and then Sunday looks to be nice and dry, but still fairly mild in the 40s. But the next week, welcome back to February. We're in the upper 30s and the low 40s with a small chance for some rain and snow heading on into Thursday. But then next weekend we're dry, but mid 30s are on the way. That's look at your extended forecast. Sounds